Hello friends, today we are putting in the new diff and it's not going to be the LSD because after all the discussions of what we're going to do with this car we're not here to make a race car, we're here to make a drift car but LSD's out, we're going welded so the first thing I want to do is make sure that in fact the 4 bolt that's on here is the same as the 4 bolt that's on the other diff okay we're good definitely is okay boys and girls we are running into an issue here what's happening is the medium case diff obviously has bigger ears so if we look at the screws from the small diff they just don't work so what we're gonna have to do is join the two together into a Frankenstein diff and let's see how easy that is to do a little crowbar action and the old ear slips out and there's the old ear so this is the this is the new ear actually off the medium case diff you can see that's the, the pattern is different as I saw there's no oil there I'm just gonna do it live take the other one out Here's the two um, different ears. This one's smaller, but we're not looking to change half shafts and shit. You can tell, however, that they're not the same length. But for our purposes, grab a mallet, put her in. Next thing you know, <clears throat> this is what we have. Now, some people are gonna be pissed. That's the old ear, and that's the new ear, uh, which is gonna work now for our diff. Now, not everyone has to know everything, but we'll have some secrets. This is gonna work just fine for what I need. It wasn't girls, so what we have here are the two ears from the small diff, and they're actually not the same. One is about an eighth inch or a quarter inch longer. Probably can't see that on the video, but it's actually causing me some grief as it's locking up the internal gear. So what I need to do is grind off about a quarter of an inch off the one side of the ear. So the ears are actually longer on the medium. They usually come flush out with this part right here. The other ones are actually hitting the center bar. They're hitting it because they're too long. The uh, small case diff ones are significantly longer. Well, not significantly, but a quarter of an inch. Now again, due to uncertainties, this um, connector clearly, I broke it in the process of doing whatever. So I'm gonna swap out connectors with the other one. Um, it looks better anyway, so let's do that. That's the connector for the speedometer. <coughs> this is it. This is the connector. Um, this part is counting how many rotations of the gear and calculating the speed and it has the electronic output here so I know the other one worked fine we're gonna reuse the other one no need to take risks as you can see ours is actually better it's got a new gasket on there anyway and it's not broken so we're gonna reuse ours alright another important step I wanted to show you guys the connector is going back in there's the gasket the gasket is nice and new if you have rust collecting there you don't want that to drop in the diff grab a magnet and just go around around the circle it's gonna collect all that garbage clean that up nicely then you want to use some silicone spray it onto the connector because we want that seal nice and tight and it only goes in one way so you can't really make a mistake push that bad boy in and there you go all right I want to show you guys the trick um, this is probably going to help people who have old fucked up diffs or welded diffs that have a lot of crap metal inside. It's going to mess up your gear. Get yourself a magnet, the strongest one you can find, about this size, size of a coin. And you're going to put that inside the filler so it collects all the scrap metal as you drive. So. The idea is this, 
nice and clean inside. We're hoping that the oil's still nice and clean. Clean up your magnet as much as possible. Boom. You want to pop it on just, just like that. All right, so it's gonna collect all the metal that's in there. I'll put that back in. Okay, friends, so the real issue that we had with the other diff was the diff didn't blow, but one of the bolts that holds in the diff to the car snapped. So this is what it used to look like. Obviously, this is a different one. At the top, it tells you its strength. So this one, don't know if that's gonna focus, but that's 10.9. And we decided, let's see if we can find something stronger. Technically, there's the same bolt. However, we're still gonna put new ones on there. The body's a little bit thicker, and they haven't been exposed to 20 years of stress. So definitely, that's the ones we're gonna use.